fire. We're out here with Total Wrecking because they want us to fly our FPV drones during an implosion. Total Wrecking is handling the demolition and clearing of this old coal power plant. I came out here when they began the job a few months ago to take a look at what the site looked like. It was filled with buildings and structures. It was really dense. They've cleared out so much of it. They've made some room. The implosion is going down. They're gonna be knocking over the tall tower structure as well as bringing down the front face of the building behind it. The building is going to be exploding. Well, no, no, not exploding, Bubby. Oh, Im imploding. imploding is the difference, okay? Yeah. So an explosion, things go out, and okay. imploding. Okay. They're yeah. imploding the base, so they're using charges on the outside that's gonna blow the base inward. The main shaft is then gonna fall over, and I think that's... I hope part. they got their calculations correct. That, that thing comes on towards yeah. us. We're, uh... We got some space. We got, we got some, some space. Yeah. We actually came out here yesterday to plan out everything, test out the RF environment, see how our drones are gonna interact with everything else going on in the air, and get the timing right. That's gonna be the toughest thing. Yeah, for Those sure. are the charges? Those are the charges. And I see you made that V shape, so that's gonna make it fall basically that, that way. way. Wait, the charges yeah. are already on there? That's yeah. what those, so, like, that black padding is. So they could just go boom right now. Facts. No. This isn't like Bernard with his fireworks. Oh, These okay. are professionals. <laughs> yeah, they've done this before. You sit on that green beam that's oh, yes, one box. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So that's, that's where the charges explosion. are on those. Oh, oh! Okay. Oh. Chop those legs out, and then the whole thing is just going to tumble over. So this is Stefan. Total Wrecking hires him to do the main documentation of all their work. And you're going to be actually flying with us tomorrow, right? Yeah. So we have to pre-coordinate everything to reduce the chances of our drones interfering with each other. Thankfully, the DJI Mavic has a setting where you can force it to operate on the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. Our FPV system is on the 5.8 gigahertz spectrum. That means we should have plenty of separation in the signal between our FPV drones and their Mavic drones. How much time are we talking before the building comes down? Seconds or minutes? Seconds. The first part is really slow. It kind of does this, and then it starts to lean, and then it accelerates through the ground. Know that it's going to be picking up speed on its way down. So I, you don't want to try to follow it too close to the ground. I want to just do a, a full test, just like it would be tomorrow morning, yeah. where both of us are going to fly over there. You're going to be up it. Let's do a, let's like pretend like we're doing it. Yeah, OK. The reason we do this is so we can test our video and replicate the RF environments that will be there on the actual day of implosion. The biggest challenge is that you only get one shot at this. If you miss the shot, they can't put the building back up and let you have another go at it. It's done. Even timing out how long it takes us to get from the takeoff point to the site is important because we have to be positioned a safe distance away. My hands are literally breathing. Oh yeah, you're, not, you're from California, you've never experienced it. Florida is supposed to be hot. I came here because it has good weather. What's up with it? Oh my gosh, the guys and your weather. They're going to blow the smokestack and they're going to wait for it to be almost down before they hit the button okay. and drop the other one. Tomorrow, the boom booms are going down. It's going to be amazing. We've done this once with them before. I got to fly a previous implosion with them and it was one of the most intense experiences I've ever flown. Packed with adrenaline, the smoke was going everywhere. You feel it in your chest. Yeah. Oh, 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 I can't believe we get to do it again. Did I'm, you see the last video? I did see the last video. Yeah. You said like you felt it in your chest. It kind of feels like a, a big firework, but then when the building actually comes down, it's like, yeah. It's like a little mini earthquake. That, that's what I'm more afraid of. The company that actually does our total wreckings implosions, I actually set up seismographs around to measure the vibration on the ground. It, it registers like a small earthquake. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's wow. crazy. Bubby's got a great strategy for how he's going to get a really epic shot. I know he's gonna nail it. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my drone in harm's way. Since we have two of us, I'm gonna get right down to where the detonation occurs and see if we can get some of that like concussive force right in your face. We're gonna put the drone in a spot where you could never put a human camera operator. Okay, that's two minutes. Two minutes.
blasted. Oh man, it was awesome. Dude, it fell faster than I thought it would. I was really hoping to fly under it, but that, nope. Oh. Yeah! Oh, Sick. Once we get this in the editor, once we color grade it and like do a bunch of speed ramping, this shot's gonna look super sick. Big thanks to Total Wrecking for letting us come out and fly. And it's just, it's super fun. We hope you guys enjoyed coming along with this adventure. It's like one of those really rare, special things you get to fly. Yeah, like I never just, thought in a million years of chasing a building falling down. Dude, dude drones take us to the coolest places. It's very it's incredible. Yeah. So thank you guys again for joining. We'll see you next time.